Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Tracy. For those that are not new, welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna do a quick uh, Valentine's Day look. It's gonna be a very simple, hopefully simple. It's not really out of my comfort zone, but it's just like the color. It's like pink color, so vibrant, so out of anyone's comfort zone but like the type of eye look that i'm gonna do is not gonna be like super complicated like oh i can't do it <laughs> or like oh it has to be valentine's for me to wear it basically um i'm gonna be using the nikita palette fantasy palette volume 3 which is this little pink one. Oh my god how cute i haven't got to use it i bought it a while back for 6.99 at tj maxx like how can you go wrong anyways the colors are so cute I'm basically I am looking into using this very bright maybe this one and then this one anyways um, I already did my face and my eyebrows so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the eyeshadow because uh, why not um, what am I trying to accomplish I was trying to look up um, Valentine's Day looks but all they all look so extra and I'm like I ain't trying to go so extra you know like I want it to be like something cute that I would probably wear so I picked this one it's probably not gonna look the same, but I do like, it's like a simple, I like how that kind of cut, cut crease looks on my eye because you know how my eyes are kind of like sad, so it just kind of lift it up a little bit and it doesn't look too complicated. Basically, basically it's just like that and then part of the eyeliner, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, the bottom cut crease part, I'm gonna use this palette and I'll probably use either this one or this one. So yeah, let's get to it, okay? Too much chitter chatter how are we gonna accomplish this um i don't know i'm just gonna go in with a tiny little brush like this we're all gonna be learning as we're going because i have had a little bit of experience but anyways how cute what it says on the mirror 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 on the wall who's the baddest bitch of them all it doesn't say mirror mirror but i mean it's common sense it's mirror mirror you know all right so we're just gonna oh this is gonna be so pigmented look at that all right this is basically where the cut crease is going to be at, basically. I feel like I always go, like, too low on it. But I'm just going to fast forward these parts. It does have a lot of fallout. It has a lot of fallout. Like, right there, you know? Alright, so basically, I kind of drew my line. And I'm trying not to go anywhere under this line. So everything that I'm going to be doing is going to be upwards. And then I'm going to cut this crease, like basically make it more sharp. And then apply the other shadow. So I'm going to go in with this baby pink. And I'm going to go like this, basically. And I'm going to try and blend this pink up. I'm going to use a different brush for this part. Porque quien te manda, quien te manda mujer. And then we're just gonna go ahead and just gonna go over it and blend it up a little bit. Oh, this does not look so great. <gasps> what was I thinking? It's okay. You know what? We're gonna work with it. We're gonna use this pink to kind of blend it up, and then we're gonna go back with that pink to intensify it. Okay. Right, now I'm gonna tap, tap the baby pink and the dark pink, and I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna still use it to blend. Not super intense, but I like it. You guys are probably like, "Nisa, nada." But just wait. Now that I have it like this, which I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna go back in with the pink and just intensify it a little bit right where that cut crease is gonna be at. Sometimes I'm like, what's my favorite color? And I feel like pink would be a great representation of myself. I know, Samira me dio como que, what the fuck is going on? But don't you worry about that. All right, we're gonna cut the crease now. Cut the crease. See, it's already becoming very fast and simple. Like, I'm not even lying. Literally. I'm just gonna use it like bam. Alright. Alright, we're gonna cut this crease. So, basically, where our crease is already cut, basically, like where we made this line, but we're just basically sharpening it up. And then with that pink, it's just to kind of intensify it. I feel like I've been using the same words this whole time. Intensify the pink. Intensify. Literally, because that's basically what we're doing. Intensifying the pink. <laughs> cute. Oh my god, why does this look already so cute, right? I feel like this is what I do with my neutral colors. Like the browns and the tans. This is what I do to my eyes, and I like it. It does look a little more blended in that video, in that picture. 
so I'm just gonna go ahead and use whatever I have left on this brush and kind of blend it up. Oh, look at that. That's already working out so great. Go ahead and draw out like a liner look right here with this. Oh, I didn't even add the other color. Okay, we're just gonna do this and then we'll add the tannish color. And now we're gonna use this color. Maybe the nudish one. And we're just gonna tap that on here. I do notice that this pink liner on the picture se mira como que medio blended up. So I'm gonna tap tap on that pink and that dark pink. And I'm just gonna blend it up a little bit. So harsh. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between this side and this side. So basically I do tap 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 and then I go. And then whatever's left, I start off where the eyeshadow is at and then I kind of bring it up a little bit. She does have some pink. So I'm gonna do tap tap on these two. And then I'm gonna add that pink. I know this is already looking like fucking something else, right? I feel like some of you are probably like, mm, you should have left it without the bottom pink. But when you go into the bottom inner corner, so I'm gonna go in with this like 21 color. Ooh, this is gonna be like a chromey color. So I'm gonna apply that right here. I'm also gonna apply that right here. We're gonna go in with this palette and then this shade right here, which is dusk. Gonna apply that shade right here. See how this one's a little more intense? All right, just like that. Her eyeliner goes in like very in instead of like mine, how it goes like all the way over here. So I'm wondering if I should do that. Let's try it. Let's try to bring it down a little bit right here. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the lashes and you already know lashes do basically all of the work I'm gonna apply some mascara fall out off all right so I'm applying some mascara I'm gonna do that to the other eye I'm gonna let this mascara dry up a little bit I'm gonna use my kiss lash glue just like that and then that and then I'm gonna apply a thin layer of this to my eyelashes and then let them get tacky 802 matte stir piece it's a l'oreal so just like that and I think I'm gonna add some lip gloss over it because this lip gloss has um almost like a shade to it it's kind of like the same but a little bit more pigmented the cute color right cute 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 all right and now the lashes should be tacky where you can kind of see the glue, but not really. Alright, just like that. Alright, super cute. Oh my god, I kind of look like, literally, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, doesn't it kind of look like that? <laughs> so cute. Actually, looking at this picture, it kind of makes me want to add some cream liner to my waterline. Cute. It makes them look a little more open, like more like a little doll. Cute. Okay, the girl on this picture has like rhinestones, but I'm not gonna add rhinestones. So her look is like this. What is she doing in this picture? I think she's just looking down. She's like. <laughs> Anyways, cute, right? Okay, that was a great inspo. Great inspo. And then, yeah, super cute. All right, anyways, this will be all for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's a quick and easy look that you guys can recreate. I mean, obviously, you can recreate this look with any color as well, but I feel like this is a really easy... I feel like as long as you have, like, a small little brush, like a small little brush, or even, like, a small brush like this, or just something that's, like, small and, like, precise, just draw out that line and then kind of blend it up with, like, a thicker brush, maybe, like, this one. And then go back with that detailed brush and like intensify the color. And then you could just cut cut it with like a concealer brush or something. Cut it out and then, you know, add a little more definition to it. But yeah, anyways, that was it. Super cute, super easy. I feel like, like I said, the lashes like amp it up so much more. And yeah, that's it. That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for my next one. And what else? Have a happy Valentine's. Love each other. Love yourself. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.